studio, I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Two schools that in some ways carry a common heritage. Michigan State and Penn State in the battle for the land grant trophy. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Trophy is on the line when these two schools go at it. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Michigan State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Hands it off. And down he goes around the 25-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on it. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Play action. Now he's on the move. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. From their own 34-yard line. First down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Makes it out to about the 43. That's good for game in a That'll make it third and one. So we're looking at another third down here. McCall on the run. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Carpenter is the putter. Like a couple of boxers in round one, these two teams are feeling each other out. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Quick strike, and he drops it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Going deep, lays it out there. Doesn't get there. Reed 
was the intended target. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Got the corner. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. The Spartans really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Nice run, and he's brought down. Six yards there on the counter. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 27. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. The Nittany Lions had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Another run. He tackles him for a loss. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. play here by the quarterback making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score you've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy he makes the PAT let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update Tell you up to date on what's happening in Evanston and for Northwestern. They've won two straight. The Wildcats get the W, 31-24. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Owens needs to return. Gathered in at the six. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. While they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackle at the 35-yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. from their own 44-yard line. It's second down. Nice run up the middle. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 7-0, Penn State.
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Owens to punt. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Penn State is up a score. Short over the middle. Tackle made at the 43. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From their own 43-yard line. First down. And now he pitches it. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. And they make the stop at the 42. Okay, this guy is a pretty sure-handed weapon coming out of the backfield. And he showed some more good moves once he had the ball. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42. Taken down at the 41. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That brings us second to nine. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Yeah, check it, Mike. And another one. Three, nine. Run, run, run. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. down and they need to get it down to the 32. Penn State is up by a touchdown. These tackles right around the 32 yard line. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's taken down right around the 22-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. He's on the run. This is the ninth play of this drive. Fires out to his wideout. He gets hit out of bounds at the 14-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. going to be first and goal. There's a reason why defenses hate playing against teams that run the option well. It's so unpredictable. That time they couldn't defend it properly and they gave up a first down. Got a man open touchdown. He 
gives him another score, his second in the passing game. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. And he adds the extra point. It was an 11-play, 74-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. Owens takes it at the four. Tackle at the 34. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. There's a strike complete. He's down. The pass good for maybe seven yards. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. And he tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. Sisk fields at the 29, gets to about the 37-yard line. The Nittany Lions are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. Well, the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. That makes it second and two. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Kill, kill, First kill! Gunner three! Check 26, check 26! Black five! Black five! Blue 20! And down he goes at the 27 yard line. Too easy, too easy! Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three! Hey, hey, check 24! Check 24. Red two! Check, three. check! Dancer, dancer! Fires out quickly, incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27. Looking for his man, incomplete. They dug a bit of a hole for themselves and were forced into a low percentage pass play here on third down. But the good news is they still have a shot at some points. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. And so now the ball's turned over on down. Last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he's tackled at the 35. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They come out in an empty backfield. Gets it out quickly. 
They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Strike to his receiver, no good. From the 49-yard line, second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's leveled the 39-yard line. see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. Wants to go long and does. And he got it. Touchdown, Spartans. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a six-play, 72-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. A great first half comes to a close. The Nittany Lions with a touchdown lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Owens feels it at the seventh. Tackle made at the 29. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. From their own 33-yard line, second down. He's got the corner. the 40-yard line. It's first down. Fires quick after the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Picked. 
I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. He's out. Pass, pass. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Tackle at about the 29-yard line. it out to maybe the 29-yard line. That makes it second and 10. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. He's at the 20. There's a very impressive open field tackle. the eighth play of this drive. Big opening. He gets to about the five. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 71-yard drive. And the result, seven points. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job. But really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. Michigan State kicked this one off. Sisk from the two. He's taken down at the 20-yard line. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Scrambling around. Here he goes. He's out to the 30. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 33. Flips it, middle to the running back. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. That makes it second and two. They make the stop at the 45. That's a gain of four. First down. First and ten. Ball on their own 45. And they hit him in the backfield. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you.
Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Quick throw. And they push him out at the 49. Carpenter to punt. Whoa, he just took a lick it. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. So at the end of three, we're deadlocked right now at 14. into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action Owens awaits the snap they'll bring him down at the 35 yard line so here we are early in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game and a big big possession coming up here Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. Bowling makes the tackle at the 44-yard line. That brings up second. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. 87 getting the ball. 87 getting the ball. Black five. Black five. Blue four. Motion, motion, motion. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. The receiver needed to get a step or two further into his route to have any chance of snagging that pass. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else his quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Coker is the deep man awaiting the return. He's tackled at the 31. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Nice run there. They get about six yards on the option to the halfback. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 37. Another run. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. He's 
taken down at the 50-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Just under three to go in regulation. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Here's an opening. He gets to about the 34-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Shoved out of bounds around the 25-yard line. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Brought down at the 22. And this play is number eight on the drive. Second down and about two yards to go. The halfback with a carry. He's pushed out of bounds at the four. He's at 100 yards rushing for the day. All I can say, Brad, is this guy is a workhorse. In a tight ball game, they continue to go back to him, and he continues to make play after play. And before it's all said and done, he's going to have to be the difference if this team can. Touchdown, Michigan State! The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. And he converts the extra point. Michigan State yet set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. A little over a minute in the game. to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, second down. And 
he's tackled at the 50. That's good for a game of 25 yards. First down. From the 50, first down. Setting up blockers, a running back's got it on the screen, and he's tackled in the open field. Penn State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Bring him down at the 30. Penn State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 30-yard line, first down. Here's the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the 26. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. No, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. You've got to be more careful with the football. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. The Nittany Lions using their third and final timeout. Michigan State is up by a touchdown. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. From their own 23-yard line, third down. This one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 21-14, Michigan State. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Michigan State comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.